and welcome to the Thames Chase Virtual Tree Walk in winter through the Elm Route. Goat willow is a fantastic variety of willow, growing up to 10 metres tall. Look out for the fluffy catkins at this time of year. Despite the cold weather, a beautiful blue sky is overhead. Winter is an especially important time to think about the positives in life, to send those rain clouds of the mind away. Having a stamp in a puddle is an excellent way to remind oneself that walking can be about the journey rather than the destination. Be sure to have a look around when walking, head up. Facing downwards, you'll miss so much. Take off your blinkers and look around you. Rough areas of grassland alongside hedges allow greater light into the woodland, encouraging flowering shrubs and trees to bloom. Grassland is an underappreciated habitat and sometimes seemingly not well looked after. Not so here, however, as this empty area of land will slowly turn into a wildflower meadow over the next several months, with a great diversity of species of insect calling it home.
Grey poplar and long bay poplar can be quite hard to tell apart. Both are tall growing, live fast, die young type of trees. These are long bay poplars. Dogwood and its red stems are easily identifiable in the winter months. Even fallen trees still provide a refuge and food for invertebrates. Alder produces wonderful catkins in late winter, releasing around 9 million grains of pollen from each one. That bright red dogwood really stands out in the winter sunshine. Being outside is very important for your mental health. It can reduce your stress and negative emotions, whilst also improving your ability to have positive social interactions. A mysterious path into the woods with a large elm tree marking the way. We don't always have to stick to the same track in life. Sometimes exploring can reward new routes for the mind. Blackthorn in winter looks spiky and unkind, but in only a short amount of time it will be in full flower, providing precious nectar to pollinators like bumblebees.
younger oak trees keep their leaves over winter, using them to protect the young leaf buds from the worst of the frosts and winds. When it starts to grow, the new leaf bud pushes the old leaf off the stalk and takes its place. Field margins can tend to look desolate in winter. It can be difficult, but we need to remind ourselves that these areas are dormant, not dead, just waiting for the warmth of spring to awaken them. A perfect place for a cup of tea and a chat, don't you think? Thank you for joining us on our walk around the Forest Centre. We hope to see you again soon.